Today I'm gonna to show you how to add this really cute bow onto your burr baby. Let's do it. I'm Madi with Madi Sews and welcome back. Today I'm bringing you another burr baby sweater that I made by Mika's Digital Patterns, um, but this time I hacked it. I actually hacked the neckline to include this bow that you can tie or you can actually leave loose and wear as a scarf. I'm gonna walk you through how I hacked this pattern to include this bow on the neckline, but really you can do this to any pattern, but you should really try it on the fur baby because it's oh so cute. But first, I wanted to let you guys know that we have two winners for the Mika's Digital Pattern giveaways, and that's Queen Allset and Jordan. So you guys will be getting an email from me shortly with all of the details so that way you can get your own patterns. So congratulations to the two of you, and let's get into this pattern hack. To make the bow neckline, you're going to need the two pieces from the pattern. Now I'm using the shorter neck band pieces, so that's right here, but when you fold them in half, this width is four and a half inches. And so what I did was, because I needed that extra space for the bow, I cut two four and a half inch by 33 wide. So it's four and a half inches this way, 33 inches this way. And I cut two of those. So we're going to match up our two pieces, right sides facing together. Go ahead and pin your pieces, and then we're gonna take this to the sewing machine. And we're gonna sew it down this line. We're gonna press it and come back here. Now that it's pressed, you can see I have my seam here, and actually I pressed it to two different sides. But now that that's pressed, what we need to do is attach these to both ends. So I'm gonna attach one of, the, one of these right sides to right sides. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. As you can see, my cutting's a little imprecise. I'm just gonna go in and clean that up after the fact. Okay, so now sew both of your ends down and then press the seams. Because the end pieces that I'm attaching to my neck band are actually a little long, I'm just going to kind of clean that up a little bit. It doesn't have to be precise because this part is going to be part of our bow, so it doesn't need to be exact. And you'll see what I'm talking about a little more in a minute here. Okay, so now that we have one really long piece of fabric, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take each of those different ends, you're gonna make sure that they're facing right sides together. So make sure that your right sides are together. And then we're gonna pin starting here and all the way down to where this seam is. Stop here, that's where we're gonna stop sewing. And you wanna do that to both sides. Now that they're pinned, let's go ahead and sew around those edges. Now you're gonna have something like this. You have your neck bands in the middle, and then you have these two tubes. I searched mine, but if you, may, if you sewed yours up on a sewing machine, make sure that you clip your corners. We're going to flip this so that it's all right sides facing out, and then we're gonna press it. And when we come back, we're gonna attach this to our sweater. Okay, so now that the lower sleeve is attached to the top, we, now we need to pay attention to this upper sleeve. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to line this up. However, I am not gonna sew the top 
quarter inch. So I'm gonna leave that open right here. So now you see that I've got my top shoulder seam pinned together and actually the entire sleeve. But I'm going to stop sewing right here. And this is about a quarter of an inch away from the edge here. I need this space so that way I can attach both of these pieces to the neckband. So let's sew that together. Okay, so here we have our front piece. This is the lower shoulder and this is the upper shoulder that you can see is a little, I left that little gap there, right? Now take your long tube, the very long one, and find that center seam, the part that's still open. This is the very middle of my tube. We're going to line this up to the low, to the middle of the lower shoulder seam. Okay, just like that. And then where this seam ends, right here, this other end, so you can see this other end, we're going to line it up with this free end. Try not to catch the other end. So now that we have our two ends pins, what we need to do is stretch out the sweater so that way we can put pins in the rest of it. Okay, so I have the front pinned down. Now I'm, now I'm going to do the same thing with the back. So we already have the one part attached. Now we just need to attach the other end Okay, so now the neckband is completely pinned on. We're going to take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew starting here at one of the opened edges and we're going to go all the way around and then we're gonna stop here. And there you have it. So now that you're done with your top, you can go ahead and tie that into a bow or you can wrap it around your neck like a scarf and it would still look really cute. I hope that you like this hack and please share your pictures with me because I really do want to see all of your cute versions. All right, well, thanks for hanging with me and until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.